Adams play. Hey Drax, this is GM of SmackDown, Daniel Bryan. I just wanted to say, you're a true champion. Keep fighting, keep doing your thing. I want to see you coming to SmackDown Live soon. Let me hear you say this. Yes! 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 I'll see you soon, Drax. Hey Elijah, I mean Drax Shadow. This is Bailey here, and I just want to let you know that I'm backstage with the whole WWE Universe, everyone here at Raw. We just want you to keep fighting. So you can come here and get some high fives or a big hug. See you later, Drax. <laughs> Thank you. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I just want to be with you. Our nurse today heard Elijah wanted a vanilla cupcake, and so across the street there's this place called Sprinkles. And look what she brought. She even put an E on your vanilla cupcake. What do you say to Leslie? Thank you. <laughs> that is so cool. Our nurses rock. Good afternoon, minions. I'm getting a little sick and tired of driving this car already um, the road noise is horrible pretty much making me feel like a one dollar bill at a sea monsters kitchen um, on my way to see a softball buddy of mine who works uh, who knows a lot about cars uh, I'm going to his place right now see if he might be able to look at it really quick um, more to come on that because it's bad. I feel uh, scared for Mel driving. I just our luck in both our vehicles. I mean, yeah. But happy National Diary Day. Make that entry in there. Do what you got to do. But dear diary. And happy. And. Happy National Child Cancer Awareness Month. That's right. How uh, was school, bud? Yeah, it was good. Um, if you have any Armenians love you. <laughs> love, love, love. And, and I hope I'll get to read some of your comics soon. But anyway, it's joke time. Joke time. Okay. Well, um, pause. I'll make sure that you're able to read some comments. Because uh, people sent you a few more jokes. So we'll read those tonight. Yeah, probably. Uh, what do you get when he crosses? What do you get when you cross a cow with a duck? Lunch. No, milk and quackers. <laughs> Are you even kidding me right now? <laughs> milk and quackers. <laughs> Alright, give me some. Here we go. Well, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. If it's not one thing, it's another. What the even heck is going on? <sighs> okay, so uh, Elijah started developing a rash around his scar on his head. Come to find out that he's neutropenic, first of all, which means his white blood counts uh, are low. Um, and that means he can he's very susceptible to sicknesses and germs and stuff and he has to be a little bit more isolated than normal so we can't go out to the outer regions of this 
bedroom. <sighs> also, uh, because of this rash, he eventually got a high heart rate and he's in pain, just to the touch, it hurts him. So we had the neurosurgeon and the plastic surgery people come in and look and they're deciphering right now as we speak on what we're gonna do. But the first thing that we are probably going to talk about is maybe injecting, okay, wait, 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 step back, step back, step back. There is a possibility that he still has the staph infection because his counts are low. So when your counts are low and you are on steroids, your wounds that you have on the outer regions do not heal very well or very quickly. And they take, and they're, it's a bugger to try to get things to heal because your counts are low. There's not enough blood cells repairing your skin. So they may do an injection and try to suck out as much fluid as possible. Supposedly there's dead blood cells. There's not enough blood cells going through and killing off whatever good that can happen to heal the wound. So they're gonna, ch first we're gonna discuss on trying to maybe suck out some of the fluid with the needle first and just do it here in the room. Push comes to shove and if it doesn't work and it, the, the infection's still there, he's on antibiotics right now and the infection's still there. We may have to go back into the surgery room and open it up and clean it back out again. Um, I'm very frustrated at this point because we just can't win and I feel so defeated. So stupid. So if they have to take him back to the surgery room, we're just going to face this problem over and over and over again. And which means if they have to open it back up and then stitch him back up after they clean out the infection in this area, there's a big, huge chance and possibility that it's not going to heal and another one shows up again, another infection. So I'm like, what the even heck is going on? And we are getting closer to the day where we want to take him to WWE and Disneyland and it's very discouraging at this moment. And I'm trying so hard to be like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, I'm trying so hard. I will give you guys another update later on what's going on and let you guys know on which direction we take. My first instinct is to try to drain the fluid out first and see if that works. Um, but that I'll show you once he turns back over, I'll show you how bad it looks. It looks horrible. So yeah. Hi right, guys, I just got done with a ride with my my softball buddy Jared here from Auto Tech. He's twice the softball player I am, maybe three times. I mean, very possible, three times. Um, and if you've seen him hit, you might say four, but I really appreciate Shout out to Jared for and Auto Tech for taking a look and trying to help me figure this out. And, yeah, we're going to continue to do a little more investigation. I, I am on my second cruise with another good friend of mine, Eric here, getting a second set of eyes to help diagnose uh, this problem. They actually think they have it uh, narrowed down to one thing, and so we're going to go back and we're going to discuss this. They think it's the struts. Um, that are just <laughs> so yeah I will go talk about it but listen if you're ever up at the Black Oak Casino and uh, or heading out to Yosemite and you have an issue which I hope you don't but you might guess who you're gonna call auto deck that's what I'm talking about how you doing hey bud Are you eating? What do you need? Ribs. Oh, ribs. Are they 
they know me. Mm-hmm. I bet I haven't had ribs in a while. I mean, it's been a long, long while since I've had ribs. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to cook our infamous spare ribs that we love. Um, in another week or so, I'm going to start pulling out some of the Christmas stuff. Elijah? We had, we had a big rainstorm uh, today. They was a mansion. Yep, i seen them. I'll make sure and put them in the car. I want to uh, see Figaro. You want to see Figaro? Oh, I gotta find him. Uh, I mean, Lige. Aw, kitty kitty. Figaro. Meow. He's like, why are you holding me like this? You can let me not go now, mm. human. Meow. I miss Figaro. Meow. Kitty kitty kitty. He's like, what is, where's that coming from? You guys, how cute is this? Watch this little Google website animation for Autumn. It's so cute. Watch that little rock. It's so cute. He eats the leaf. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> Puffy eyes, dark circles around the eyes. You can tell I'm not sleeping. <laughs> But mm, it's going to be a late night. It's going to be a long late night. Uh, okay, so here's the ordeal. Elijah, uh, his, he has an infection and it's gotten really bad and it's starting to swell and starting to spread down to his neck. Then suddenly he got pain in his hips and started screaming in pain. Uh, and so we just did a quick culture biopsy um, per needle so they sucked it out of his tumor area they're taking that we won't find out till tomorrow to see what kind of infection he has we were told bad news that he's probably going to be on antibiotics for the rest of his life and this is a problematic ordeal that'll probably keep on happening where an infection happens because Elijah's neutropenic that means his body cannot heal the wounds. So um, as long as he's neutropenic and there is no blood flow going on up, up there, it's always going to be a continuous problem. So we're always going to have him on antibiotics indefinitely. They said because he is neutropenic right now, we can't do surgery. The risk is super, super duper high to make more complications happen, if not the worst case scenario. Um, so we, I don't know what we're going to do from here on out. Um, it is not very good news. That tumor is very problemsome, problemsome, problemsome. And, um, it, this is going to be something that sets us back once again. Uh, I don't know what to do from here on out. We, we had the opportunity. We talked to a neurosurgeon and they said, well, if we could, we would have to like literally remove parts of the skull to get rid of that tumor because it's bony which was an option in the first place but now they're not going to do it because of him being neutropenic but they thought maybe if we got rid of it it would just cause a whole another problem so now we can't get that can't even be an option anymore um because Elijah's not healing his wounds. So if he were not neutropenic, it could probably still be on the table as an option. But right now, not on the table, unfortunately. So the neurosurgeon is out for right now. We will gather tomorrow and figure out a plan tomorrow to try to see what we can do. But for now, it's nothing else we can do. So um, that's the update for now. I've got, I'm just gonna say goodnight. Thank you so much for all your love, prayer, support, positive thoughts, positive juju sending our way. Um, and we love you guys so, so much. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up for support. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ciao. Oh, don't forget to press that red subscribe button. Become a member of the Mainville family. Mainville. Minion. See, I'm totally out of it. Bye. Got a package in the mail. From Peanuts to... Katie! Yeah!
Um, so we're gonna say good night. Uh, hey, Dad, that, mm. that Christina girl really knows how to cook. And thank you for all the comments and birthday presents, minions. Yeah, he doesn't want any more. <laughs> I do want more. Yeah, I think we're all if tired. Yeah, well, 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 if there's still a, a, a thing I want in my wish list missing from me, just go get it, right? <laughs> just go get it, right? <laughs> um, hopefully tomorrow we have another... It's not a surprise or anything like that, but just another cool little story that a minion shared with us that we want to share with you. So hopefully we can get that uh, on the vlog tomorrow. Um, I'm going to give you another hint for Arkansas. Indirectly, it has nothing to do with... No. Directly. It has nothing to do with the Deli uh, Elijah. Indirectly, everything has to do with Elijah. So it does have a tiny bit to do with him, but it has nothing to do with treatment or anything like that. It just, this is pretty much happening, uh, what I'm going to Arkansas for because of him. So, yeah, I know. That's all I'm giving you. I want to say, hello, hello, hello to all of new subscribers thank you so much and if you are new leave it in the comments below so we can say hi to you don't forget to favorite and share and share and we will see you all tomorrow hey, you better knock that off.